Hey guys, I'm Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. My channel. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. 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 Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. 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 <laughs> so today I'm doing a review on the new Fenty Beauty. Ah, okay. Let's do this again. So today I am doing the review on the Pro Filter Hydrotin Long Wear Foundation. This foundation right here, right here. Um, so many brands have been releasing foundations and I've just been like uh, like overwhelmed I haven't like gotten a found new foundation in a very long time So I picked this one up and a couple others that I will review as well I have the Urban Decay one that I'm very very excited to review because it seems more up my alley But I wanted to try this one because the weather will be changing very soon And um, one of the reasons why I probably haven't been reaching for foundations is because I'm kind of in limbo of to how I really like my foundation to look I find myself straying away from the extremely matte foundations and like something and I like something that's more like a satin finish so these ones excite me so I got them and I'm reviewing this one today this is a very first review of a foundation like in-depth dedicated review to um, a foundation on my channel I'm excited about doing it it's also like a first impression because I did not try the foundation before I just bought it just all I did was swatch it and that's it so this intro is freaking long I hate doing long ass intro if you want to get my thoughts and stuff on this Fenty Beauty foundation more information about it let's hop to it Okay guys, so let's get started. First of all, I am filming in natural lighting. This is the first time I'm doing this. I'm actually just in front of my window. So, I don't know. My channel is in no way a review channel, but here and there I will pop in something that I'm interested in, something that's popular or trending that I think that my audience wants to see. So today I'll be doing the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Longwear Foundation. Um, for the past couple of months, um, I was just in a rut when it came to foundation. They have so many foundations today that I wanted to try and um, my foundation um, finish has been changing. Like the way I prefer my foundation to look has been changing. So I've been kind of in limbo with foundations lately. Like I was more of a matte matte finish, but now I'm more of a satin finish. So most of my foundations are matte finishes and you know, so I've just been mixing my foundations a lot lately. And the other thing is the shades. Like it doesn't matter how many shades a foundation comes out with, it's always so difficult for me to find a shade that I feel like I'm right with, that fits me right, that I'm that I'm comfortable with, that I'm just like, oh, that's my shit, like very rare. So, but Fenty launched this hydrating primer. And since that, I feel like it's up my alley and the weather will be changing soon. I'm like, why not try this foundation and it's this Fenty Beauty. Fenty Beauty is the GOAT. <laughs> um, I will always support Rihanna. So um, this is what the foundation looks like. It's in a squeezy tube but it has a pump. I love the packaging. It's, I love it. I mean for those of you all who travel a lot and things like that, it's perfect to fit into. Um, it's perfect for traveling. It's, I love it. And the claims it's a hydrating medium full coverage for all skin tones, long wear, light as air foundation. And it comes in 50 shades, I think. Um, so if you're like a 370 or whatever in the first release foundation that she had, then you would be the same shade in this one as well. And I love her, her number system. It makes it easier for you to, to figure out um, your stuff. So I do have my shade in the original foundation in 370 and 380, because like I said, I couldn't find my shade and I feel like that foundation oxidized a lot. So I took this one in 390. I don't know how well it's gonna work for me. I probably will get like a darker shade and mix them, mix them both. You know, you know me and my my mixing. So, all right. So I gave you all the deets on this foundation. So let's hop into actually using the foundation. But first, coffee. Mm. So I made my own iced coffee because I'm hot as hell. So I'm not gonna be drinking hot coffee. I don't know but I have to have coffee I feel like coffee changes my mood if I'm in a bad mood and my mood suck coffee just does something for my mood and I just love it does that does coffee do that for anybody else just sort of uh, changes your mood I don't know but, but it's probably my mind but I feel like it changes my mood so I'm gonna prime my face as usual whenever I'm using like a regular foundation whatever foundation I'm already used to using I'm using my Fenty instant retouch a soft matte primer these names you guys I did burn my forehead trying to curl this wig 
that's what happens and you know for me washing my face all the time and stuff I irritated it and it turned into a damn full-blown sore on my forehead then I'm going in with my milk hydrogen primer If you use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, you have to give it like a few seconds so that it gets tacky on your skin. And I'm going to apply my, my um, Milani eyeshadow primer in the places where I crease and on my eyes. Because I'm not going to be doing any eyeshadow or anything crazy today. I just want to focus on the, um, the foundation. So if you're someone who's not using all of these primers, you can actually just go in with some translucent powder over your primer to set it if you have more of a oily skin type. I forgot to mention my skin type. I do have combination skin where I'm more oily in my T-zone. The rest of my face could be normal to dry. But I also suffer from dehydrated skin. So that's why I'm so interested in seeing how this hydrogen primer works because it says hydrating and it doesn't say um, luminous. So I'm quite interested in seeing how this foundation will work throughout the day. So I just went in with my NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I'm just doing what I would usually do before I actually go in with any, um, before I actually go in with the foundation. And I'm gonna apply a little bit of this ELF one, just to cancel out any discoloration and the redness that I have. Any noises you're hearing will be my fan, which is right next to me, blowing the shit out of me because I'm hot as hell. And of course the noises from the highway, because I'm very close to the highway. How many times can I say this? But I see that I have some new followers, some new subscribers, so that's the noises you'll be hearing, so excuse that. I know it could sound kind of irritating, like annoying in the video, because when I'm editing and I hear the noise, I'm like, oh fuck. So anyway, I'm pumping this on a flat foundation brush and I'm gonna apply to the flat foundation brush first hmm. on one side of my face just so that I can see like the coverage and the one side bit so I can compare it before I actually go into do that other side so I'm just using my damn sponge and I'm pressing it in. What did it say? It was a full coverage. Well, I feel like it's a buildable full coverage. I probably probably could build it up to a full coverage, but so far this is like one layer of foundation. I love the finish, it looks so good. My skin looks so good. So this is one layer and I'm still seeing my discoloration popping through and some of my um, spots. But I like the way it looks. It looks like hydrating. It's not like greasy. Oh, like my skin looks lively. It looks alive. It doesn't look greasy all right so compared to the other side of my face do you see what it looks like so I'm gonna apply to the other side of my face so I applied it to the other side of my face as well and truth being told I have less uh, high pigmentation on this side of my face than this one so this side looks way smoother than this side does what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply another layer I'm gonna build it to see how well it builds so I'm doing the same thing I'm gonna go in with it on my flat brush I'm gonna apply it just to see um, how it builds I don't know about the shade neither um, I don't know this shade looks like it probably might be too red for me in the winter time. I may have to mix it with something else. I don't know. Okay, so it built nicely and it gave me more coverage. So 
I guess you can really um, it built nicely it covered up a lot of the darkness I was still picking through and don't get me wrong I don't have an issue with um, my hyper conditions coming through my and stuff through my foundation I really don't have an issue with that I'm not like here trying to mask my face entirely I don't have an issue with that but for the sake of this video I want to see how it is it builds and I'm still seeing darkness peeking through right but it did cover more from the first layer that I applied Okay, so that's it. So my face really does look hydrated. It does not look greasy. It looks really, really hydrated. Uh, I really don't, I'm not sure about the color. Knowing me, I probably would mix um, the hydrating foundation and the original formula foundation eventually because I do have it in a lighter shade. But it is summer still and I did get tan, but I don't know. I feel like it's a bit red. Can you see my neck? like it looks red on my neck that's the way it looks on my skin right now like my skin is hydrated it really is hydrated. This, that's the way my skin looks when I'm done with my skincare at night right. <laughs> I'm still shook because I'm more used to like a satin finish foundation so I'm gonna give this a couple minutes see how it dries down and I'll be right okay, back. So I give it a couple minutes to see how it would look like if it was set if it would be looking like less hydrating on my skin but it still looks very hydrating so off the bat definitely this is a foundation if you're my skin type you need to set that foundation down baby down lock down you know what I mean so I'm just gonna use my regular products over top I'm not going to go too in details with the products I'm going to use over top. I did just do um, my current favorite for, um, makeup products. So I will link that in the iCards and the end screen. I'll, I would also put it in the description box so you can check that out. But these are the products that I'll be using over top when it comes to concealer and bronzers and stuff like that. I'm just going to do something really, really natural because I'm just going to the Bronx. And I, yeah, I do have things to do outside. So I'll really test this, this foundation in the sun because it looks hot as hell outside so let me just come back so i started my makeup at like 11 30 it's now 12 42 so i've had it on my face for a while so off the top of my head looking at my face i feel like my face has looked smoother i feel like other foundations give me a smoother finish but my face looks um just really nice really natural looking and i like that like this foundation for me would be like um, like an everyday foundation. Um, probably going to work, running little errands here and there. It wouldn't be a foundation I would reach for when I want a bomb ass beat face. But I will, I do see myself reaching for this foundation often. The shade turned out pretty well because I did highlight and conceal and I set my face really, really, really well. <laughs> so I went in with my mix of my Huda Beauty and my Blondie Powder and I set the rest of my face in my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder because I feel like I needed to set my face with that. I needed something that wasn't the powder foundations because I wanted to see how this will work and I feel like I really, really need to set it. So if you're my skin type, you have to set this foundation. <laughs> you really do. A drier skin type will like, probably like the finish and may be able to get away without setting your foundation. But you have to set it because I felt like I used a lot of powders to set it to get it the way that I want it to look. The products layered pretty well over it though. I didn't have any issues with um, my concealer or my bronzer or anything. Everything layered really well after I had set everything down in place but I just have to stress that I used a lot of powders to set this. I had to like bake my face to get it to look the way that I want. I'm looking at my magnifying mirror and my face looks, it looks nice. It's like my pores are filled in. It just looks really, really natural. Really, really, really natural. Um, let me give you guys a close up. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Okay, so this is what it looks like close up, as you can see. I I didn't shave my face, and I I do shave my face, and I do have a lot of hairs, like my my top lip and stuff. So. You probably could see that I could see that I don't know if you could but I could see those hairs on my face I need to, um, to remove them 
Um, and that's it. That's, that's the way the foundation is looking at the moment. It's really light and airy though, and I like that about it. I am going to wear this for a couple hours. Like I said, I'm going to the Bronx and I have some errands to run and it's hot. So we're really going to put this foundation to the test, see how it wears throughout the day and things like that. I'm going to do some checkings here and there. And that's pretty much it for the application of the foundation part. So, um, yeah, so I'll check back with you guys shortly. So this is my first check-in, like, sort of outside, like, I did record in natural lighting, but this is my first check-in like outside of um, where I recorded, and this is what it looks like. So I will be back with another check-in soon. Hey guys, so I'm doing a second check-in. I'm asking Phoebe, how does my foundation look? Phoebe, how does my foundation look? It looks nice. What do you think? I like the highlight. It looks yeah. very nice, guys. I love the way it looks. Where's the mm. new one? Yep, it's the Rihanna, the oh, Fancy seriously? Beauty Hydrating Primer. It looks nice, yeah. right? Yeah. I didn't start to get oily as yet. What time is it, Phoebe? Uh, 3.15. It's 3.15. I've had this foundation on since 11.30, and I am not really producing any oils or anything as yet, and it's hot as hell up here in the Bronx. So say hi, Phoebe. Hi. Peace out, guys. See you soon. All right guys, so I am back. It is now 7.40 p.m. I have been wearing this makeup from like 11.30, I think. So it is like actually about eight hours since I've had this makeup on my face. I haven't touched up my face not once throughout the day. And I did go out, I was out and about, as you could see from the other clips. So let me show you what it looks like close up. So this is my face now. It is oily in the areas that it would be oily, which is my T-zone. But I don't think that I'm oily more than usual. Let me zoom you out now, okay? So am I oily more than usual? I don't think so. Like that's the way I think my face will look at the end of the day if I didn't probably blot the oils off at some point during the day. So I'm pretty pretty impressed with this foundation and I am so reaching for this foundation tomorrow. Um, well, by the time you see this video, I'll probably will be using it until I probably, I'm probably fed up with it. So would I recommend this foundation? Totally, totally for anyone who's my skin type, combination oily or if you're dry to normal. I would totally totally recommend it for my oily oily skin girls um i will recommend you set it really well because i did mention earlier that i busted laura mercier translucent powder to set the rest of my face and i did use um a soft matte primer on my skin i did prime my skin the usual ways i would normally prime my skin. the only thing i really that, that i saw that happened more than usual is the foundation settles more in my smile lines um, and I did use my eyeshadow primer, like a tip trick that I do for that not to happen, but it did happen. So um, maybe I would set that area, like bake that area more with some powder, but that's about it. If you ever get to a point where your face looks like this, it's just pretty simple to touch up. So I'm just going to use like a blotting sheet. I'm going to show you what it is I do. And I'm just going to lightly press it in the areas where I'm like oily, as you can see. The oil just disappears. Look at this. Look at this. Mm. After I would have done that, I, I like using this Catrice Mattifying uh, Waterproof Powder with a little brush or a powder puff, whatever it is you have. I'm just gonna tap it in the area where I'm oily, where I had a little crease in. Put it on my nose. And it's translucent, so it does not like leave any color. It's like totally, totally translucent. So there's no color to it it just mattifies the area and there we have it like you have your foundation new again new again all the oils are gone so it touched up pretty pretty easy I am so so impressed I can't wait to see how it performs when um, it's cooler outside like in the fall and winter months I can't wait to see how it's gonna perform on my skin so it's beautiful it touched up beautifully it's wonderful so like I said, my thoughts is I will totally 100% recommend this foundation 
just be sure to prime well and set well if you're my skin type and oilier you need to set I remember setting it really really well because it's really really hydrating but it's not greasy or glowy um, or it's not something that's gonna just slide off your face it's not that kind of formula so that's my final thoughts on the Fenty Longwear Hydrating Foundation. I will, I love it. I will be using it more often. I can't wait to use it more. I love it. I love it. I love it. How, how much time can I say I love it? <laughs> anyway, hi, if you're new here, my name is Rachel. Welcome to the family. I will try to list the stuff that I use in the description box. This is my very first review here. Tell me what you think about it. Comment, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. It really helps and it re I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you're following me on all my social media um, platforms. Um, I will always leave them in the description box. And how to book me, I am a nail tech and a makeup artist out here in Brooklyn. So everything will be in the description box. Be sure to check that out and follow me on my social media to see my work. Let me know if you would actually be trying this foundation out. And um, yeah, that's it. So until then, I will see you in my next video, next tutorial, next week. Bye, guys.